Good morning. We're here at the Timber Lake Trailhead on the west side of the Rocky Mountain National Park. And today we're going to go for Jack Straw Mountain. I think we're looking at about 5.1 miles out and well over a 2,000 foot elevation gain. Official start time was 8.05. We got Travis on the hike from KC. And then right here, caution, active landslide area, two miles ahead. It's a really pretty trail and I'm glad this area did not burn. We drove down south to the entrance gate down there and it gets pretty bad. This is amazing through here. I was really upset that the Fern Lake Trail got burned up but I feel like this is almost the same kind of thing. And this is looking over at the Never Summer Mountains. I've done three out of those four right there. Starting left to right, you got the Green Knoll, Stratus, Mount Nimbus, and then Red Mountain. I've done all of them except for Stratus. We're still grinding our way up this thing. After the initial downhill section at the very beginning of the hike, and you pass the real pretty waterfall, this thing just starts going uphill. And that is super weird right there. Just this bright yellow ooze on top of this tree stump. All right, guys, I just checked the GPS. We've been hiking for about an hour and 20 minutes. We're over 2.5 miles into the hike and we've come up about 1,100 feet. We're floating along right here at about 10,000 and we're about ready to enter the active landslide area. Yeah, yep, this is it. Actually, it's right up there. up here to the trail split this says 1.7 to timber lake we're not going all the way to timber lake so i'm thinking maybe a little over a mile up to jack straw meadows and then that's where we're going to cut off and start bushwhacking up jack straw mountain
Yeah, we're finally getting up there to the upper levels. It gets kind of nasty there towards the end in the trees. Lots of switchbacks. You finally get some stairs and it does go up. We're coming up to a trail sign. I'm not sure what this says. I think there's a privy up here. Yep. So if you gotta go, here's the privy. see if I can sneak by these moose without them noticing because they're maybe 30 yards away or so. Yeah, those guys are really not that far away at all. I'm sure they could cover that ground in a few seconds. All right, guys. And I believe this is Jack Straw Meadows. So this is where we need to cut off and start bushwhacking up. And I think this is the spot. On my map, this looks like the spot. Just pick the easiest way up. We're bushwhacking this thing. And it's not too bad. It's all open. We can handle this. Okay, kind of breaking through the trees and we're gonna get a real good view of what's left. And this thing ain't gonna go quietly. Looks like we got quite a bit left here. And what I think we should do right now is kind of work it up through the trees and around the marshy area right here. If we go up right here, we're gonna get wet. And it looks like coming up through the trees and avoiding that wet area paid off. There's actually a little trail here. And this is awesome. This is turning into just an epic hike. Look at this. And what we're gonna do right now is just cross this water and head straight up here to this little saddle area. And we're getting up there quick. This looks worse than it is. I mean, it's bad, don't get me wrong. We're going straight up, but we're getting up there quick. I think Travis has got the right idea here. Just go straight up. That's looking back in the direction that we have come from. And we're at about 11,200 right now, which means we have just under 500 more up to the highest point. And we've actually picked up some kind of a trail right here too. So this is cool. I'll take this. I don't think we're doing this right. I think we should have stayed kind of down there in the valley and then went up to the saddle right there. We're doing it a little different. We're instead heading up to this high point here and then we're hopefully gonna just bounce it across the top. So 
So this is what we're dealing with right here. We're getting up there, it's starting to get pretty rocky. And we have picked up this little social trail again. Either that or it's a game trail. I'm not sure. We're pretty close to being up on this southernmost high point. And then I think once we're up there, we can bounce it across. And the thing that's really getting us right now is we can see the trail over there. <laughs> we can see the trail. So hopefully we can pick that up on the way down. And it should be pretty nice. All right, man, you got this. We got this. Nice job. And take a look. Oh, Woo! dude, yes. Oh, man. And we're up here. All right. Yes. High five that shit. Boom. That's Mount Ida right over there. Looking huge. And we can actually see people hiking up it. We probably spent a good 10 minutes up here getting a bite to eat, taking a quick break, just getting ready to traverse the top of this thing. This should be awesome. loving this so much this is awesome and it was a pretty hard hike too I thought it was gonna be much easier than it was the stats are deceiving this is so sweet though we're about ready to hit this southern high point We just need to bounce it over there to the true summit. It's not that far. Just check the GPS and it looks like it's about a quarter of a mile. We see a white object over here. I'm thinking it's a rock. Maybe it's a skull. Not sure. It's pretty white though. Just working our way across the top. 
and we're going to have a little bit of a down and up right here. That shouldn't be too bad though, because that is going to be the true summit. And that's also where the trail leads down. So we need to get over there to try and pick up that trail because we're not going down the way that we came up. And I just saw where the trail goes down. I mean, so if all else fails and we can't find it up top, we can come down the grass right here and pick it up right there. We're looking back at the way that we came up this thing and it's looking pretty insane. I don't know if you can see these like little veins coming down, but those are the things that we thought were trails and we just went right up there, right to the left of that snow. And then we popped out on the flat part. high point out there should be the summit. All right guys, and we are officially on the summit of Jack Straw Mountain. Yes. And I think this is going to be the Summit Cairn right here. And we got the summit register. I can't wait to look at that and see how many people have been up here. It can't be many. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit it with a card. You can take it down and over to those other humps if you'd like. I'm not really feeling that right now. We're on the summit, so we got it. The wind's picking up a tiny bit, so we're gonna head into the trees right here. And this is really cool. Oh yeah, and just like that, the wind has stopped. Oh, this is really cool, actually. And this is our new chill spot out of the wind. And this is just so amazing up here. I really don't want to go back down. And look at Ida right there, just looking huge. Huge. All right, guys. And it's about 1.20 in the afternoon right now. So the day is starting to slip away. So it's time to go. It's time to head on back. 
So what we're doing right now is heading back down to the saddle between the two high points and we should be able to pick up the trail right there. That's an awesome view of the southern high point. It's not quite as tall as the true summit, of course. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to be it right here. The thing is, though, what way do we want to take it now? We got the trail, but... Okay, it looks like both ways go up. I don't know what's going on. I'm already just say screw it and just go straight down the grass right here. Why not? Why not? Same thing we just did. Pretty much. Look. Look, dude, right there. That's not even steep. And then we'll just hit the left of the snow. You want to do it? Let's just do it. Yeah. Yep. We have decided to just go straight down right here. The trail has disappointed us. It disappointed me anyway. I expected more out of it. Yeah, as long as we get down to that bottom part, we're good. <laughs> we're coming down a much easier way. Basically just walking down some grass. <laughs> this probably would have been much safer to come up this way as well, but we didn't. <laughs> we went up right over there, straight up the side. <laughs> we're not really sure the exact way, but we're just staying on the grass as much as we can. Kind of over to the right are some big rocks. We're trying to avoid those. But so far, this is pretty easy. This might be the trickiest section yet. How's it looking? It's pretty. Oh, we got that. Oh, we got that. That's easy. Sweet. <laughs> this is looking like the way to me. What do we got over the edge here? Don't give me some crap. Don't give me some crap. No whammies. We're almost off the bushwhacking section. We just need to take a right through the trees up here and then take it down and we should meet back up with the trail and probably where those moose are. We have cut off. We're heading back down through the tree section. And actually, as I'm recording this, we're walking up to the trail. Oh, it looks like a trail. Either way, it doesn't really matter. We just want to pick the path of least resistance and keep going down. We'll eventually run into the trail. And that is going to be the trail right there in front of us. <laughs> yes, we made it. And let me check the GPS and see how long that took. It's two o'clock right now, so that took us 40 minutes to get down from the summit back down to the trail. We're keeping our eyes peeled for the moose. We feel like they're gonna be in this general vicinity somewhere. I don't think they went too far. I'm really hoping they haven't migrated over here to the trail. And there he is. There's one of the moose. He's over there chilling in the trees, probably laying down after his nice big lunch. And there's the second one right out there. probably looking at about three and a half miles back we've got a little ways to go but this has just been the most epic hike today we're the only people that have been out here we saw like a little family at the trailhead when we started but that's it we haven't seen a single person out here All right. 
right guys, it's 3.55, which means that that took us two hours and 35 minutes to come down from the top. Not too bad. It took us just under four hours to get up on the top and then probably another half hour or so to work our way over to the true summit. But we were kind of fiddle farting around up there. So I'm not really sure how long it took. And the book says that that is 5.1 miles. My GPS was showing over six. So there's a big discrepancy there. I'm saying it was closer to six for sure. <laughs> that was much harder than five miles in my opinion. And then right up there, that's going to be the summit of Jack Straw Mountain. If we can see the parking lot from the summit, that means we can see the summit from the parking lot. I hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.